Hello guys, this is Leo from Leo's World and today I'll be unboxing the Xbox Series X and uh, well, let's get to it. So here comes in this big box and as you can see, you got your Xbox logo, the actual Xbox itself. You got the little design here on the top and then you got the one terabyte uh, hard drive. You got a little Series X here as well. And then here it has this, all of its features, you know, the 4K and everything, all of that. And then on the back, you got your little Halo guy and power your dreams. So I haven't opened it yet and then they just make it easy for you. So they, you see the little arrow, you just make it easy and you just peel it off. See if I can do it. it doesn't ruin the box or anything like that. So, okay, stop, stick it to me. So, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is how the box opens. So you turn it down like this. And you just kind of just pull it up. Boom. Got it. And then here, you got Power Your Dreams. As you can see there, your little Xbox logo. It's nice. Right, so let's take this out. Oh, it's kind of heavy. So I'm guessing this is the actual console. And then, let's take the actual stuff. Got your little manual here. Talks about the controller and all the specs that it has. So, you got your, uh, what is this? Your HDMI cable and your power cord. So this one comes with the ultra high speed HDMI cable and the one before, the Xbox One X, only came with a high speed cable. So this is your power cable. And again, no power brick. You got your little manual. Got a little Microsoft and Xbox. Uh, who reads this, man? Nobody reads that. And this is your actual controller. Ooh, I'm excited for this. Yo. This is really nice. They haven't really made it too different, the design. It kind of looks the same, simple. Not like the PlayStation. It's very, you know, futuristic. This one's very simple. And I, I say I like it. I, I really like the... the the way it looks, the way it feels, it's grippy. And, and they also added a new D-pad as well, as you can see there. And I think I, I really like it. So now, let's unwrap this baby up. So you got a little pull tab here, and you just take it out. All right, and let's unwrap it. What's this? So they made this one very simple. It's called an Xbox, so they made it a box. And so you got the Xbox, this is your little power power button. You got your, your discs and what else? You got your sync button and USB. So you can put this two ways. So the little pegs here, you can put it sideways so like this. So you can just have it like this if you're gonna put it like on a furniture or something. So on the top, they have the cooling system as you can see. And you can see the green as well. I think it looks nice. So on the back here, you got your two USB ports. So if you want more than one terabyte of storage, you can buy it separately and it just hooks up right here. So this is your HDMI out port to go to your TV. And this is where you connect your power cable. And then here's your ethernet port so this baby fridge has an amd custom zen 2 cpu with 12 teraflops of gaming power and i don't know how they fit in here it's so little so it's got 16 gigabytes of gddr6 memory and it has one terabyte custom ssd dr hard drive and it's really fast and of course it has the 4k blu-ray drive as you can see right here so now this is this is the comparison between the Xbox One X and the Series X. And as you can see, this actually looks more like a brick console. And this just looks like a mini fridge. All right, so this is the front. And then this is on its side. There you go. So the width is pretty much the same, but the height is, is double. And it is just a lot more chunky, bulky, you know? And this one's a lot more slim, sleek. And then this is a comparison between the two controllers. And of course on the new one, it still takes your 
the double A batteries. Still takes your double A batteries on the back as well. So on the handles, you got the textured, it's got a textured back for more grip, as you can see right there. As well as the triggers, I don't know if you got more grip as well there. And it is a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, and I think it's great. So here you got your 3.5 millimeter jack for your headset. And then of course you got the, the same old X, Y, A, B. And then you got your you got your joysticks. And then of course you got the new D-pad as well. And they added a new button. And this one is the one touch share button, which in my opinion is a great addition to the controller. Hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for other videos. Bye guys. Peace.